Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks taking a look at two HTC devices. This is the HTC M8, which is clearly their flagship phone, and this is the Desire i, which is coming at the high end of their mid-range. There are a lot of similarities with this because they are both camera feature focused, but what I do like, if you take a look, they're both kind of this unibody design. Now, the, the new Desire line is kind of going in this uh, you know, this plastic, but it feels really nice in your hands. And they have this, what are they, a dual shot or something like that, but uh, there's a pink and white, and then there's blue and white. Now, one of the things that I love that they finally added to their phones is a physical camera button. It is bomb. Totally loving it. And they've also, which I totally dig, made this one waterproof. So there's definitely a, a difference between, between these two devices and their their overall kind of aesthetic. The M8 is something that you should all be familiar with by now. It's a unibody aluminum design, uh, really the best hand feel on a smartphone that you can get in the market, the industrial kind of nature and quality of what they're doing here. Uh, maybe a little uh, too hardcore for a lot of ladies, which is maybe why the Desire lineup with its colors and its, um, well, it's hardcore selfie feature there. Maybe why this might appear to the ladies a little bit more. And they made this bad boy waterproof, which I'm so stoked about. So they've done it in a really interesting way. Just let me show you here. When you pull that out, it's kind of got this like two-tone hinge there, or like a little, little bit, so that you can kind of pop that in. Now it has a micro SD card slot, which is wicked, and then a um, uh, macro. Uh, SIM card slot. Now they've gone a different route than what we've seen with the uh, Z3 or the S5. They haven't put a flap, they've put a nano coating on here, which is what they've done also, also with this uh, headphone jack, which is what the other two phones have done as well. Now getting back to a little bit more of a comparison, these are not the same thickness. The M8 is a little bit thicker. I believe it's 9.4, but since it kind of has this a curvature to the way that it feels. It's thinner around the sides, which gives it a, a very, and I, I actually, it, it gives it a thinner hand feel than what we have on the, on the Desire. It's a 5.2 uh, inch display over here, 1080p as well, uh, but it's 8.4. So it te technically it's thinner, but it definitely does not feel that way in, in your hand. Now let's get into the, uh, the meat of it. Well, we have the, the dual camera here on the M8, which you should be familiar with already. That's a depth sensor over there that keeps on turning on there. Now, what, what's happening here at the front is that's a 13 megapixel shooter. This is a four, right? But it's the ultra pixel, so it has the bigger pixels. But on the front here, um, I think this is a five or two, sorry. I'm drawing a blank on that one. But anyways, this is a 13, this is a 13, and this is a 13. Right, so both have a dual, uh, dual two-tone LED flash there. But uh, I, well, something that is a little bit interesting is that we were doing some comparisons uh, in the bar last night, and uh, the M8 front-facing camera in low light actually performed just a little bit better, but the photos on this guy were amazing. I took some seriously awesome uh, front-facing shots. Uh, with that, so I'm pretty impressed. Now I just wanted to give you just a little bit of a look on the difference uh, kind of in style of these, these two devices, just in case you were wondering how they kind of stacked up side by side. Um, I can give you a quick walk around if you want. So here's where we have the two uh, micro USB, or sorry, micro USB, um, S SD card, micro SD card and a macro SIM card, so it's the uh, micro SIM card in over there, and then on this side we have, oh, that's the micro, macro SIM over here, micro SD, then we have the volume rocker, then we have the physical camera button, which I'm loving, and then they've actually separated um, on this guy, the headphone jacks, the top, whereas here, there, both the bottom, the micro USB port and the headphone jack. Now they both also come with the boom speakers, but they're a little less obvious on the Desire I because, well, it's waterproofing, so they have to do something a little bit different than they did on this one. So this was just, you know, just a quick and dirty little little size comparison of uh, two devices in uh, HTC's lineup. Yeah.